Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the difference between working stress method and the limit stress method. So the both uh, methods are used in the design of reinforced concrete structures. Basically in structures uh, like uh, buildings uh, we can use the limit stress method and uh, if we go for the design of rectangular water tank or circular water tank we go for the working stress method. So uh, today we are going to see the main difference between the working stress and limit stress method. So the main principle of working stress method is uh, uh, based on the elastic theory and assumes that the steel and concrete in the elastic and obey the Hooke's law. So it means that the stress is directly proportional to the strain up to the point of uh, collapse. So that is a uh, uh, most important uh, principle in working stress method. So the based on elastic theory, the bond between the steel and concrete is perfect and then permissible stresses of the materials are obtained. So that is the main principle in working stress. But in limit state method, it's an advanced method, it's a combination of working stress and ultimate load methods. So the main principle in limit state method, it will take account in ultimate strength of the structure and also the serviceability requirement. So that is the main thing. Uh, then acceptable limits of uh, safety and serviceability requirement before the failure occur is called the limit state. So this is the main principle. So this method is ba mainly based on the concept of uh, safety and the ultimate loads and the working loads. So this is the main concept in uh, limit state method. Then in limit state method, uh, the two state is uh, taken into consideration that is a uh, limit state of uh, collapse and limit state of serviceability. So next thing is uh, the working stress method uh, is based on the elastic theory and assumes that the concrete and steel are the elastic and the stress strain curve is the linear for both. So that is the main thing in working stress. The in limit state method, the based on the actual stress strain curve of the steel and concrete. For concrete, the stress and strain curve is non-linear. So in working stress is linear and limit state is non-linear. So next thing is uh, the working stress method, uh, the safety or applied in the yield stress to the uh, permissible stresses. In limit state method, the possible safety factors is applied in the design and concrete values. So next thing is uh, working stress method, no factor of safety is used, but uh, limit state method, the factor of safety will be used. So next thing is uh, working stress method, the exact margin of safety is not known, but uh, in limit state method, the exact margin of safety will be known. So that's why the limit state method is very effective and economical, but in working stress method, is uh, it's a very heavy and it's not economical. So then uh, the working stress method uh, gives a thicker section, so less economical. So as uh, already said, uh, in limit set method, the more economical section will be uh, given. So that's why uh, the wastage of steel will be uh, avoided. So next thing is working stress method is assumes that the actual loads, permissible stresses and factor of safety are the known. So it is called the deterministic method. But in limit state method, uh, it based upon the probabilistic approach which depends upon the actual data or experience. Hence it is called the non-deterministic method. So these are all the main important differences between the working stress and the limit state method. So in most commonly we are using a limit state method for the structures and uh, some uh, special cases we go for the working stress method. Again we will see in next video. Thank you.